One man who certainly knows about how to perform on the biggest of stages is Gautam Kambir. The star of India's famous Cricket World Cup final triumph in 2011 announced his retirement from all forms of the game this past month. The 37-year-old scored more than 9,000 international runs and his journey has been adorned with many a milestone. In one of his first exclusive interviews since hanging up his bat, Kampir spoke to ICC Cricket 360 on the highs of his career and the plans for his next innings in life. It was tough initially because obviously you've done something for the last 25 years, so it's always difficult to let that thing go. But then, yes, uh, there's, there's a lot of pressure that's off now because uh, irrespective of what level you were playing, you still wanted to be the best you can. So even till the last day of my professional career, I wanted to be the best I could be. So obviously I used to train the same way, I used to uh, bat the same way in the net as well with that kind of a motivation. So all that uh, thing is gone now, so the pressure is off. When I look back now, obviously it's been a long journey, but it's been a very satisfying journey. I was just two years old when India had won their first World Cup, but this, my childhood dream was always to be part of the World Cup winning team. That was probably my only dream I had when I was growing up as a kid. I remember so many times uh, in the morning I used to wake up thinking that I've been part of the World Cup winning team and my grandmother used to tell me that every day there's only one dream that you want to be part of that World Cup winning team and I had to wait it for a very long time. People kept asking me this question, do you regret those three runs? Yes, initially I did, because you want to score 100, and not 100, I wanted, to, I wanted to finish off the game. I think more than 100, I wanted to be part of finishing the game till the end, staying till the end. That was a regret I had, not about not scoring 100. Even if I would have scored 100 and got, got out, I would have had the same feeling what I had when I was scored 97. So probably that was a regret I had, but then if you end up all well, that ends well, and uh, very happy that we could fulfill the dream of millions of people. For me, I think it was very satisfying and plus, uh, I felt that when you get picked to play for your country, you are expected to win the World Cup. You don't go out there to just fulfill the numbers or put the numbers on, on, the, on the sheet. Ultimately, your job is to win the World Cup for the team and I remember saying after winning the World Cup that mission accomplished, that we've done the job what was expected out of us and that is how I am. I don't think that I've done something extraordinary, but it was my job to do it. That time T20 was not like what it is now. It was just the start of the T20 format and a lot of teams didn't know how to approach those T20 games and stuff. We approached like a 50 over game. That one of the openers should try and battle the 15th or the 16th over. If someone can do that, we'll get to 160, 155, which is again got to be a very, a very good total. Not during these days where you get 150, 160 and it gets easily chaseable because people were not used to playing a, a lot of T20 format. So it was important that we ended up, we were losing a lot of wickets in a regular interval, so I had to bat till 16 to 17 over and I was actually happy that I could manage to do that. I was part of some very special things what the team did. If you ask me personally, during that phase, we became the number one test side in the world. We were able to win the first ever CB series in Australia. We were able to win a test series in New Zealand. We were able to draw a series in South Africa. So from that point of view, it was very, very special. And we won the World Cup as well. Uh, 2011 World Cup, so that phase was very special for me because we as a team could achieve a lot which we had dreamt of. Ultimately, what you want to be part of something special for your country, you want to do something special for your country and not many people get that opportunity and honour to do to represent their country in the World Cup. When I look back today, I, how fortunate can someone be that he got this opportunity of being part of two World Cup winning teams and doing something special in two World Cup finals, so it can't get bigger than that.